Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the DC TV shows, mainly The Flash, Supergirl, a little bit of Superman, and some crossover stuff to talk about. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we've got some questions that you guys have sent in. If you want to be featured in one of these videos, please go over to the community tab right now and leave your topic, theory, question or idea to be featured in one of these videos. You can send over as many questions as you want and just make sure they're good basically and you'll probably be featured in one of these videos. Anyway, so the first question comes from Johnny the Berry on YouTube who asks, is the CW going to make a second generation of Arrowverse shows possibly in 20 to 30 years? Example, Superboy, Clark and Lois's kid and the next Supergirl, Kara's daughter and the next Flash, Barry's kid. So I thought this was an interesting question because I've never seen this actually brought up and you know I think the idea of like a second generation kind of like what they do in the comics is a very good idea because in the comics you have like say Barry Allen, you have you know Diana Prince, you have Bruce Wayne and they all have their protégés under them whether it's their kid or not it's like a different younger version of them kind of like Young Justice is like a second generation of heroes, you know, after the Justice League. So I think this is a very good question because I think this would be amazing and I would love to see like Superboy take over from Superman when, you know, it's 20, 30 years actually like in the future and then, you know, Kara's daughter, whether it's like Power Girl or something or Barry's kid, which would be like Nora, so XS or one of the Tornado Twins or like Bart Allen, like Kid Flash, you know, that could be a thing that could happen. I think it would be a good idea if they made like a, you know, like a Young Justice live action TV show on the CW, I would be so in for that. I think that would be really interesting to see, you know, you've got those characters out there, you got the proper Arrowverse, but then you got the young sort of protégés. I guess Legends is a little bit like that, or at least it started like that because they were sort of these outcasts, like a few heroes, a few kind of anti-heroes, a few villains matched together. But this would be different because this would be actual protégés to the main heroes, so you would have basically very similar characters to the other shows. And I think they could do this now, they don't have to wait 20 to 30 years, they can do it whenever they want because they can have the shows going on at the same time then you've got this say Young Justice live action TV show on the CW that has the kids well not kids like you know young adults like 20 year olds or whatever they're sort of looking up they're like why can't I be Supergirl why can't I be Superman why can't I be the Flash and that's kind of like Young Justice and I think that would be a really good idea I would love to see that okay so the second question comes from Jessica Friedman who asked, with Stargirl going to the CW, is her team going to become a part of the Arrow Gang? So yeah, season 2 of Stargirl will be over on the CW, so it will be part of the Arrowverse, like, officially, because, you know, most of the Arrowverse shows are on the CW, but, you know, it airs on TC Universe and CW, so it's already in there. Like, that's not a problem, but will she be, like, a part of the Arrowverse gang? Like, will she get to meet our heroes? Yes, definitely at one point she's going to meet our heroes, whether it's next season or not. They are definitely planning on crossing Stargo over with the other shows, and I have no doubt that she will be part of the Arrowverse crossover, whatever the next one is, and, you know, I think that will be really good because I think she fits in. The show very much so is like a mix of, like, Supergirl, The Flash, mixed with a little bit like Riverdale because, you know, it's more like high school kind of stuff where the other shows the characters are older than high school they don't go to high school that's a different aspect of Stargirl and so yeah the next crossover we're probably gonna see her become part of the Arrowverse gang like she'll meet Barry, Kara and everyone I think that'll be very cool. Alright the next question comes from Leaper on YouTube who asks how do you think Lex will be stopped in season 6 will he die or be caught or move to a special prison? So, the end of last season was supposed to end differently, and apparently, according to John Cryer, who plays Lex Luthor, apparently they planned to defeat Lex in the finale, but they never actually got around to finishing that when they were filming, and therefore the writers and the showrunners have changed his sort of arc. So, originally he was supposed to be defeated, I don't know if he was supposed to die or not, 
but he was supposed to be defeated in episode 20 in the finale of, of season 5. But now they have the possibility to keep Lex around a bit longer and maybe they won't kill him off, maybe they plan to do that, but maybe they're like sort of refiguring their plans like this is a good character, maybe let's not kill him off. So maybe my theory would be that he would be put into a prison, like a special prison, and he will be caught obviously. I think it will be stopped in season 6, like first few episodes, like, you know, maybe episode 5 later, so I would say episode 3 is more likely, however, I think they rewrote his story a little bit, and that's why he might stick around a bit longer than just being defeated in like episode 1, which would have been like, you know, episode 20 last season, so yeah, they might have rechanged some stuff, but he was originally supposed to be defeated. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. This comes from a demon 490 on YouTube who asks, Is Superman's new Earth Prime son Superboy Prime? So, we've talked about Superboy, you know, just earlier in this video, but also we talked about him before in past videos. It would be very cool to see a version of him show up at some point. I remember when mon -El first came in Supergirl, everyone was like, Oh, this is Superboy, but then we found out it was mon -El, so it's different and... Basically, we've kind of been waiting for Superboy Prime to come up at some point, and I think Superman's son could turn out to be him in the future, like we talked about in that other question, maybe they do a second generation, and there is Superboy, like Clark and Lois's kid. However, if you've seen Young Justice, there is the possibility of what they're doing over on Supergirl right now, that we might see Superboy on Supergirl, because of the way that the season ended with the immortality coming from the Leviathan members and Lex actually capturing that and him and his mum at the end of the season they're in this sort of chamber where you saw him last season with Red Daughter and it very much so reminded me of Young Justice and the way that Superboy was created there. He's actually a creation of Lex Luthor, he creates him, he makes his own version of Superman to fight Superman but in this case on the TV show it could be Superboy to fight Supergirl. I think that would be a really fitting match and I would love to see that and especially in this next season I think that would be really good like Superboy versus Supergirl. So I think that aspect is probably a bit more likely. However, I think Superman's new Earth Prime son could become Superboy at some point but not at this very moment because you know he'll probably have to come back from the future or something and be old enough like this is just a kid we're talking about, like a baby, so he's not going to be able to do any sort of special powers or anything because he's literally just, like, just born. Alright, so let's move on to the final question of the video. This is from Tyrone Flame on YouTube who asks, Is it true that Batwoman Season 2 will cross over with Black Lightning Season 4? So I don't know where you heard this from because this isn't true and I've heard nothing about this. The only crossover we've heard of is that they were planning to do a Batwoman crossover in Season 2 with Superman and Lois in their Season 1. So we're not sure if that is happening right now due to the changes with Batwoman and I don't know if they want, you know, the new Batwoman sort of leading that because, you know, she is in fact new. Maybe people will have to get used to the fact that it's not Ruby Rose. It's actually this new person, Javicia Leslie, playing a completely new character. So I think with that change, there is a possibility they might switch from Batwoman to another show and it could be Black Lightning but it will be more likely that it will be like Black Lightning Season 4 crossing over with Superman and Lois or something like that or if they want to go more safe you just cross over The Flash with Supergirl or they could do it with any show but I don't think it's going to be a Supergirl crossover I think Melissa will show up at some point but they're going to have a lot to catch up on so I think it's more likely it's going to happen with some of the other shows with like smaller episode counts for the crossover but you will see those other Arrowverse characters you normally see in the big crossovers so that is about it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching remember go over to the community tab right now to enter your topic theory question or idea if you want to be included in one of these videos send as many as you want over there so thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys later goodbye